right, friends. Aloha, friends. All right, I feel like I'm crooked. I feel like I'm crooked. Welcome back to a Simply Simple Scent. I have a couple of videos uh, to share with you guys for this channel as well as some home goods haul for my life channel. So it's going to be a lot of the same outfits today, but that's okay. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, this is going to be a sen uh, Scentsy Warmer Scent Scents that I have been enjoying uh, within the past, I think, two weeks. So I've been, I've been behind. I'm sorry. Um, the other channel just takes up um, a little bit too much of my time sometimes, so then I neglect to um, upload for this one. But I'll make three separate videos for this one, uh, so I won't fall behind. Anywho. I have this Dollar Tree basket, gold trim, very beautiful, $1.50. I was so happy when I got this. <laughs> but this is my spring scent that I gravitate to. So I've been enjoying most of these, but not all. But um, I just wanted to show you guys some of the spring scents that I've been enjoying. By the Sea is in here, Mahalo uh, Coconut, Peach Nectar. Uh, coastal strawberry did not make it back into the bring back my bar even though I voted for it every single day okay uh, coco lime lemon sorbet uh, watermelon mint kamu kamu ala water kahiko hula mahalo coconut and then over here is hugging a mug okay so let me just get a few of them out because I don't want this to be super long Hugging a mug, Kamu Kamu is empty, really love that, family loves that. And then also empty with the aloe water and cucumber. Aloe water and cucumber is a very, it's, it's one of those scents that I do gravitate to when I want like a spa. It's, it's my spa feel scent. It's perfect anywhere in the home, even in the bathroom, small offices, even into like the big open concept. If you have plenty of warmers within that big open concept like I do into the living room, uh, perfect for that even though it's a light uh, scent. It's, it has that enough of that cucumber in there to, to add on to the aloe because there is an aloe scent that we have that I did not care for. That was aloe and ivy, I think. It just smelled to me too much of a um, aloe scent. But adding cucumber into the aloe water and cucumber is just a perfect combination, okay? One of Kahiko Hula. I have been melting this since we have been voting for the Bring Back My Bars and she's coming back. You guys know how happy I am with that so I don't have to be very stingy. And then um, Mahalo Coconut. Oh my goodness. Mahalo Coconut. I think I got this into a haul that I'm going to show you guys. I want to say I got this into a um, for the spring of my Sensi Go. I want to say I did. Okay. Um, Mahalo Coconut. Very nice. Um, it has that enough of that coconut in there to where it's not creamy. Sometimes coconut to me. When, especially when they add milk because a lot of coconut scents um, tends to have a milk base in there can be too um, like vanilla uh, it has that like like a sweet cream kind of thing and I, I don't care for that I don't care for sweet cream coconut but I like the refreshing coconut all right and then by the sea um, going through half of that so this is in a couple of warmers like bathrooms and hallways ba um, by the sea is one of uh, my favorite scents to gravitate to between spring and all the way throughout summer I really like that okay one of my favorites coastal strawberry I'm very stingy with this one because I only have three friends three three and I maybe I just put it in here just to smell it I don't know but because I only have one and I'm very stingy with this once I found that it was not coming back. So I probably just have it in here and you guys will see this a lot just so that I can sniff it. Okay. Uh, co uh, coastal strawberry. Peach nectar is another light scent. Uh, I think I put this into my bedroom one night. So um, peach nectar is one of those scents that it's almost like apricot um, vanilla my favorite woman scent mature woman scent uh but peach nectar it's not as peachy as i would want it to be but it's still within the 
the apricot vanilla like it's not as strong as apricot vanilla it's just going towards that so it's still a feminine scent to me coco lime i'm so glad this came back um coco lime is one of my it went inside my nose coco lime is it in my nose friends okay coco lime you know like it has these little things uh coco lime is now my favorite lime scent um lemon is it lemon vervana it says lemon vervana thinking that it's lemon but it's actually lime is it i don't know but i love this and then lemon vervana and then um mojito there was the other one the the mojito mambo is it i prefer this one over those lemon vervana i love because lemon vervana to me if like i'm cooking fish uh, I air out the, the windows, I air out the house kind of thing and then I'll put on something like lemon verbana to kind of to kind of neutralize the scent. Uh, this one I really really love um, everywhere. Okay, lemon sorbet is another one of my favorites. I showed you guys that last time. I don't think I even used this since last time. I just want to smell it. <laughs> this is just like my coastal strawberry. I just want to smell it or else sometimes I'll put it on like into the bedroom kind of thing or else like into my master bathroom okay so ever since I found out two I think it's two watermelon scents that are coming back I love watermelon scent okay so watermelon mint is my one of my favorite watermelon scent and I have an abundance of this so I opened it up and everybody wanted it just that one day <laughs> so the girls had it and even Jonathan had it. That's right. So Jonathan, the two girls, and then one for me into my room. It's just a nice um, minty watermelon scent. I, I really love this. So I'm so glad that it's coming back. I have plenty, but of course, you can never have too much of your favorite Scentsy bars. All right. So those are the stuff that's into the basket that I have been enjoying. But what I want to enjoy as well, I have these out. It's Gogo -Go Mango and then the Dumbo. So Gogo -Go Mango, I've had this for quite some time, but I don't think I've really warmed it. Maybe one bar, but it always keeps coming back. So I wanted to kind of focus on Gogo -Go Mango. So I know it's a good scent because it keeps coming back and it's a good scent when I'm doing a cold sniff, like when you're sniffing it without warming it. But I've never really paid too much attention to it, so I will do now, okay? So that's my goal is to pay more attention to Gogo -Go Mango. And then also Dumbo, Danny, I think it was Danica that wanted me to order more of this. And again, it's a, like a spring, it's a spring scent to me. Yes. Okay, so I can't wait. I don't know. I smell honeydew. Is it honeydew? I don't know the description of this, friends, but I smell like a, a cream honeydew. Hmm. Okay, so excited to do this one because Danica wants this into her room. So I'm um, excited about that one. And then also uh, my Scentsy Go. This is a, I use this often into the car. And then I, I switch off. Like I'll have this one. I have the, gosh, what is this? This is the Tiramisu. And I, I still want to, I still want to melt it. This is the, yeah, the tiramisu. This is a fall scent. And I still use it and it's still working, but I'll take it out sometimes. And then I'll put the winterberry tea and it lasts forever. So don't throw it out just because the, the season is done. One, you can um, store it like into your drawers, like into your linen drawers, um, cabinet, linen closet cabinets, or into your clothes drawers. It smells good. Or just put it back into the... Um, the container the shell that it came in because that's what I always do and then I, I reuse it or whatever um, mood I'm in for the scent but definitely need one for the spring okay so now let me go ahead and take you guys into my home and show you guys the warmers uh, that I have been enjoying all right hey friends I wanted to go ahead and show you guys um, the coffee bar again um, because I will be changing out the decor and so over here I have my teapot and then for Valentine's Day I'm not quite sure yet if I'm gonna keep the teapot here um, for a much longer time because I'm 
uh, after this one i'll be putting in the spring decor so hopefully it still goes and then also i'll be taking um this one out um i think it's called the stag uh warmer and that one was um for my winter but i'll be uh putting in a different warmer in there and then it has my winter uh decor and as well as my valentine's day decor in here there's some ray dunn mugs and then um target from christmas time during the holidays of the like the trees that one right there and then that one and then the gnome i believe that was target that's target dollar spot another ray dunn these are ray dunn's and then ray dunn and then my coffee stuff that was a target and then my cookbooks um <laughs> which i used to collect cookbooks a long time ago i i love to look at cookbooks i don't know what it is about uh cookbooks and looking at the pretty pictures okay and then when i turn around right here is another display for valentine's day um this one um has to be mine this is an element warmer this one i believe is on yeah i think i turned all of all of them on for you guys that one i forgot now what uh warmer it is but it's so pretty okay go and then valentine's day decor i think that was michael's and then um target target dollar spot it came in three sets of three and then that one was i want to say hobby lobby and then this is where i have my plant <laughs> so happy that it's surviving i have one light out sorry about that and then um because i do have my plants here uh oh one leaf fell out but because I do have my plants here, I have it here because one, we have low light and then I don't want to put it by the window where it's very cold. So I have this on throughout the day so that they get some, some light in here. And then I have the bird cage. And then I want to say this is make a stand. And then I just bought this yesterday. So I just put it here with the paper plate. Um, this is my new baby string of turtles. See how they look like turtles? Okay. then i have a couple of um valentine's day decors i love the gnomes hubby got this for him and i to represent valentine's day this is an actual working phone from pottery barn years ago when my home decor was red shabby chic and then that was a target a while back target and then target dollar spot this year so today i'm going to show you guys that those areas right there and then that's going to be the same area uh but i'll go ahead and go closer there because i did use up one of the scents that i told you guys um over there i think it was the magnolia linen that um, i had a magnolia linen there and then over there and then it just made it so strong i really loved it okay i still have not found uh, cabinet to put onto this side for um like all the xbox and such like the the toys for the kids and hubby okay so then here's java <laughs> um my home is like modern i don't know i just i just make up my style i think uh farmhouse so i know i have a modern farmhouse theme in here but i also have like some sort of like country farmhouse because of the warmers that i oh i totally forgot okay well let's go back in here <laughs> let me go ahead and show you guys this part of the the wall and so this is the kitchen area this one is the farmhouse so this is not modern farmhouse it's farmhouse farmhouse <laughs> but um i have the deja vu that i showed you guys before i have I think it's called farmhouse the roost warmer and then i just did a video on this one i think it's called lavender love so let's just um go closer because this is the new one i just did a video like five minutes ago of this one okay very beautiful and then i have freddie uh, one of my youtube bays had given this to me um to show support so i thank her for that um 
very grateful for her friendship i have my aloe that's just like really growing i don't know what i'm doing to this but it's growing um it was so small when i bought it over at trader joe's for like 5.99 and it's just overtaking everything it's climbing onto the wine onto the pig onto um freddy the frog planter okay very pretty i love that And then it's actually darker, like when you um, have it turn off, it has a very like deep, like almost eggplant color, okay? And then when you turn it on, it has more of the lavender. So that's like, I love that. Very pretty. Okay, so back to here, showed you guys this one, showed you guys Java, and then I have, remember my owl that was behind my um where i film that's special to me i don't really like owls but hubby bought that for me so she, she stays java just sleeps but i wanted to show you guys that like modern farmhouse with a bit of island more island than anything more than um a bit and then it goes into just silvers and glass and and then I add on like um, like nature part, like that wreath that I got from um, Joanne's this year. And, and so that's what my decor is. <laughs> and so this one, I was very surprised that I would want it in here. This is the new warmer that I showed you guys onto the video. This is one of our new release mini warmer. So let me just um, move that curtain because it does get pretty dark in here and that's just that's how the color is in real life very dark and a whole lot of flowers everywhere okay Oop. I'm trying to not oh not lose my balance but lots of flowers everywhere and then i have i think splash make a splash the one of our new scents and then when you turn it on okay very pretty let me see if I can hold it just right. Okay. And then look at the silhouette of that flower onto that wall. Gorgeous mini warmer. Okay. And then, of course, I will put the, the name of the warmers onto the description box. Okay. And then over here, um, it's the same setup for Valentine's Day. I'll be changing this one out soon. Frontier was the one that I was trying to remember. So Frontier has the Magnolia Linen, and oh my gosh, it's so strong. I love it. Um, it's good strong uh, for me. So I have that one. And then this one I haven't changed in a while. I forgot what it was in here. So um, I don't change out my, uh, my scents all at the same time because over here I changed out, I changed out that one. So that's one. And then <laughs> just today, and then that one, and then this one was yesterday morning that's been on like 24 hours. Um, I had it on last night, and I don't usually keep it on, but I had it on, so there's not a lot of scent coming out of it. So as you guys can see, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then if you count over there, eight, nine, ten, just around the square space, there's ten. <laughs> so I don't... Um, I don't change out every single one of them. This one has been the same scent maybe for maybe a month now or a month and a half. And then I'll, I just changed that one. Okay. So really like the Magnolia Linen. All right. So over here, I decided not to put anything here. I'm still missing something on this wall. I don't know if I'm going to actually do the, the sign myself of um something here or do it um myself or purchase it i just i haven't figured it out yet because i um i do make signs so i think i want to make it like a personal sign for the family but um i didn't want to overdo anything here because during the holidays i just had everything laid out there so i just wanted it a little bit more simpler this time but this time it's um more of an island theme so i still kept my um my fairy lights in there 
and then i brought down the hello because now we're using the fireplace like non-stop and then i have the beach life and then again the like the dark and then the glass and then it comes down to the silver and then i i have something brown here to kind of tidy up like make a v shape <laughs> so it brings it down and then it goes back up again as well as like the glass there's glass and like um, white and uh, gray then it goes down and then it goes back up again because um some of you have asked how i i i, I place my decoration that's how i've always done it i've done i've done it in like threes and i've done it um I, I use like my my photography because um, I used to do uh, photography. So I always look for like where your eye will flow and then just make sure that it kind of it kind of flows. <laughs> All right. So this is the coastal warmer that I um, showed you guys on the video um, of what um, of my haul <laughs> the new warmers it's gorgeous she's amazing she's huge um pretty big warmer and it's just like a blue glass so let me turn it off and then show you guys how it looks without it turned on all right so that's what it looks like when it's not turned on it's gorgeous as is okay with that blue glass and then the um the basket weave the natural like wood and then turned on it's gorgeous as well down okay and then i've always had these these are like shells that we've collected uh visits down into the waterfront we live by the water so a lot of shells um shells uh going into like vacation with families this is when we went to forks <laughs> remember twilight so i took that out of forks and then um again seashells um this is just shells from the waterfront when i uh, walk with the kids this one was joann's and joann's like 80 percent off clearance last last spring target find this is my baby look at that this is my swiss cheese plant i bought her when like this was the longest stem and then the shorter stem was here now this one Look how far it's gone and it's still growing. And then this one is growing new leaves. Okay. This is the Glimmer and Glow. If you guys have the Glimmer and Glow, you can request. You have to call um, your Sensi Consultant. And then if you are a Sensi Consultant, you do have to call Customer Support. They'll give you a new lid. And I love this one better because now the scents actually flow through these um, holes before it was just the opening right here. Okay, then this one, okay, this one, I don't even know if I have it on. I think I have, yep, I have it on. I just cleaned it, okay, so you can tell it's on, but I wanted to put a new scent in there, and so I have that, very beautiful, I love it, okay, I love it, it just makes me feel of, um, of home, okay. And then over here, this one is the January warmer of the month that got sold out within, I think, an hour or two hours, and they did a pre-sale. So if you ordered a, uh, one of this during the pre-sale, I believe you should be getting it around March. March or, I'm, I'm not quite sure, but I thought it was March. But a very popular warmer. It's gorgeous, especially at night. I have this one on turned on at night because then you can see the northern lights. It's hard to see now because of the um, uh, the daylight, but it's more enjoyable when it has a darker setting. Amber glow, I think is is this one. I think it's amber glow. This one, it's nice because these move. So wherever you're facing it, you could move the leaves. Okay, um, 40 watt light bulb. So it's a very high light bulb. And then I have Magnolia Linen in here and it smells amazing. And then of course my pineapples are everywhere. And these are just like um, home goods, Joann's, Michael's kind of thing. And then again, my like mercury glass, 
this one is part of the the green collection there 80 percent off i got this for like ten dollars or eight dollars i got those for like five i always look for great deals and then that one hubby surprised me one time i don't know where he got that i think target okay so i've had this for a few years it was actually from a an actual a willow uh, like a pussy willow tree okay and then i just sit here friends especially at night and then I just admire all my pretty warmers. Yeah. My warmers. Don't mind my my kids and hubbies like Xbox stuff. I need to find a cabinet. But I have to find the right cabinet. And I haven't found one at Home Goods. Alright friends, as always, I thank you guys for visiting a Simply Simple set. Mahalo!